All right, so we're back. Uh, guys, I'm gonna give you a little update on what I've got going on with my Death Star diorama build for my cabinet that is ginormous. It's gonna end up being like 35 inches wide, 36 inches wide by about 24, 25 inches deep. It's gonna be kind of large. And honestly, I could make it much larger than that, but I'm actually trying, to, I'm modifying it to fit into uh, the space that I've decided. So I've ran into a little bit of a hiccup and I'm trying to figure out how to light the panels, the lights, the, the Death Star panels, right? You got those grid things with uh, these guys, you know, these, these things, right? I'm trying to figure out how to light them up. So the files I got uh, came with uh, a couple different things. I figured I'd show you kind of what I got going on. I got a little Amazon haul here. We're going to figure out how to problem solve this thing. And one of the this is this is one of the files. So the way this is supposed to work, uh, this is there's three different sections. There's three of these guys, all right? And uh, in here, you are you put a piece of white acrylic uh, behind here, obviously, and then you would add lights. I guess I can show you this way. Uh, you would add lights in here, and that's how that would work. So the creator of the file designed this in such a way where uh, he was using five millimeter LED bulbs. So all these circles, all these holes in here were designed for lights, individual LED bulbs to go in. And uh, that's, the, so all it would do is put all the bulbs in there, wire them up and go through there. So you've got three, literally three of these guys stacked, uh, stacked deep. And um, that's one way to do it. And I, I kind of, one of the reasons I was kind of leaning against that method was I didn't want to have hot spots. Uh, when I look at the uh, when I look at the piece from you know back, I don't want to see individual hot spots of bulbs. And while the acrylic will diffuse some of it, my fear, without going too crazy to this, was that I would have hot spots and bulbs. In addition to that, I would have to wire each one of these bulbs individually times. Uh, three tall, there's three of these tall, times six or eight sections, depending on how many I want to have lit up in the display. So that would be a ton of LEDs, uh, individually wired, soldered, the whole thing, and then figure out how to, uh, to you know, turn it on and off with the switches and all that kind of stuff. So that was kind of the, the thing I was trying to figure out how, how I would make that happen. So the thought process in my head was, hey, what I, I've done LED strips, that's not a problem. Why don't I just use some LED strips? And one th problem I ran into that <clears throat> was, well, one, how would I get the LED strips to go into here? Uh, because there's really no, there's no way to do it. There's three sections of these, bam, 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 three of these. I'm gonna run a wire and I need the, the, the lights, the panels to line up with the grid or else it might not look all that good. So here's what I came up with. I said, well, uh, as, a, as a trial, why don't I take a couple of these panels and I'll literally just drill a hole uh, in there. I'll add another hole that's here. I'll add a hole here. So you can see right here, I drilled these holes and they're not very pretty. I didn't create a jig for this. I just grabbed my drill and uh, I, I don't know, these are a quarter inch or whatever these are. Um, uh, drill bits and I, I, I drill well, was bigger than quarter inch, but you get the idea. But I drilled those holes and you can see they don't really line up all that great. They're not fantastic, but this was a test to figure out what I could do. So my next problem, <laughs> my next problem was when I did this uh, a few times, uh, the holes didn't line up because I didn't create a jig uh, to make sure the holes perfectly lined up on each section. So that was another problem. Um, the third problem, I guess, if you will, was now that I've got the holes drilled and I've tested some LED strips through it and ran it up and down, then I got the problem where you want to have the, the lighting strip at a certain distance from the acrylic. I got a little piece of acrylic here. You can see it right there. And I've got pieces of filament everywhere, but I want, you want to have the lighting a certain distance from the, from the acrylic or else you're going to get hot spots or it's going to be too dim. So there's a thing for that. So if I had the strip like connected to the bottom of the plate, it was too far away from the acrylic to get a good clean light. And I've literally just taped this together. So I haven't even glued this yet. And so that, that was a problem. Uh, in addition to 
where the uh, holes were kind of like, like some of the lines, some of the lighting was like hit and miss. Like this one would be pretty good lined up. And then over here is good lined up until here and it veers off and it, it, it didn't, it didn't look all that great. I'll be honest with you. Um, so I decided to go a step further and modify the file. So I will kind of show you um, what I got going on here, I guess if I can. Uh, let's see if I can make this work real quick like. So I, I threw this uh, file that he had into Tinkercad. Now I have zero experience with Tinkercad, like literally zero. But I figured how hard could it be to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. So here's the file um, and I kind of modified it. Now what I did with this guy is I added five holes or squares, if you will, holes in the top and bottom of this section of this, uh, of this light box. All right. So you can see those holes are going through, uh, each way. And they, I tried to perfectly line them up with the, uh, with the holes that were there previously. And then addition to that, I added these, uh, rectangles here to raise the bed. Uh, so when I take the LED strips and I peel the backing off it and tape it, they'll be a little bit raised up. And I was hoping that on my first test, uh, they would be the right distance and they would look good, uh, you know, lit up. Um, and then I proceeded to throw that into Bamboo Lab Studio, printed it on my Bamboo Lab um, X1 Carbon, and that came up with, uh, with this. So this is uh, the next piece. So you can see right here, here are the little ridges, and these still have the supports on them. I still have, I literally just grabbed this off the print bed. I've printed a pile of these so far. Um, but if we knock out some of these supports real quick, they're not very hard to do. I'll show you kind of what, what we had going on. And this is me problem solving. Uh, I don't claim to be Adam Savage or even close, like Norm Chan. Those guys are freaking like on a whole nother planet considered, con uh, compared to what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but I felt like I could maybe accomplish this in a, in a way that looked decent and at least would, would kind of work with my, uh, my needs. And so this is what I got going on. So I had, this is the hole that I showed you guys in Tinkercad, hold that up. And then I've got these ridges that I raised that I could actually stick the uh, double side tape for the LED strip on. And then when I had multiples of these, the holes would be lined up. So when I go three deep, right, uh, they, they would be perfectly lined up. And my thought was I would run the lights in, uh, in a, a pattern here. And then down at the bottom, there's another section that goes here. So this is the bottom section. You're gonna have picture, picture three of these guys, but all, all this guy. You got three of these, it's a very tall piece. And then on the bottom, I went ahead and modified this file as well. And I added, uh, number one, I added these, these, these holes were there like the previous reason, but I made these holes larger on both sides so I could run wiring in through the back and I didn't, I just wanted to make them larger so it didn't have to cram lighting in there, uh, controllers or whatever. And then I also added the, the cutouts here. You can see, right? You see that right there, okay? So I did that and there's only, uh, the bottom was flat. There's no reason to add that. So my thought process is wiring goes through that hole and then goes up through there and then we'll go, uh, you know, it'll go like this and it'll kind of go up, go up, go up, go up. And if I needed the wire to go through the bottom again, then it can run to the next panel if that's what I decided to do. And somebody's trying to call me and it's spam. I don't, I don't want to talk to you right now. Spam. So that's kind of the idea. Now, there's that. Now, I still got to paint these things, sand them, paint them. I got to do all that stuff. I have printed quite a few of my little test prints here once I figured out what was going on. And I have a, this is my test. So I literally had this one LED strip here that I had just laying around. Uh, and this was kind of my, my test to see, hey, would this work? Let me kind of try to show what we got going on. Now, this is a Cobb light strip. All right, circuit on board light strip. There's 640 LEDs per meter. So this is not your typical LED strip you're gonna find at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Best Buy, whatever else. This is, this is not that. This is way more condensed and packed uh, full of LEDs. Therefore, I'm gonna have a more 
uniform light when you're not going to see the individual bulb. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll, I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, Let's so if I can plug this in here and then I'll plug this guy in down here on the bottom somewhere. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. You come here. Come here. I got extension cords here for everything. All right. So there it is. And this is just USB. But there you go. So I'll kill a light. And you can see the uniformity of the LEDs versus having hot spots. We're not going to have that. And then when I add the acrylic backing right here, this is what you get. So you can see that worked out pretty. <laughs> I was very impressed with how this worked out. I mean, I'm like very happy with this. So imagine this times three of these guys, and then you got the bottom panel and however you want to do it. Um, but problem solving worked out pretty dang good. Uh, I went ahead and tested this. These are glued, or not glued, taped, the double side tape, uh, to the raised section of the rectangle that I added. Uh, and they're perfectly in line with here. And that's kind of what I'm working on. Now, my next problem, because building things is problematic, um, was I, I only had one of these strips, and this is definitely not long enough to do three sections of this. Uh, and I, in addition to that, I wanted to be able to turn it on and off with my phone or a remote or something like that, because this is gonna be in a panel and a, in a shelf, and I, I don't wanna mess with all that kind of mess. So I went to Amazon and I bought a pile of LED lighting, which literally just got delivered. And I got a, got a large box here, which is much, it's honestly heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So that's why I'm saying, some of my wife's stuff may be in here. Holy cow. What on? Hell, yeah. Well, that's why, because <laughs> it is something for my wife, uh, because that's definitely not mine. Um, uh, lighting strips, and then I got a controller, and <laughs> I got the cutest little chainsaw. Uh, my wife had one, and it died, and then it was under, it had a warranty. So she got another one. She's been like talking to me all about it. And it's a little, it's a little handheld, handheld chainsaw. <laughs> I was like, that's really heavy lighting. Uh, I, I have a, a, you know, a larger chainsaw that she doesn't like to use. Uh, so she likes this one, uh, at least the one that died. So there we go. Okay. And gloves that go with the chainsaw. All right, you go over there. So we've got a five-in-one LED Wi-Fi and Bluetooth strip con controller. So that's kind of cool. Here, we'll zoom in here for a second. You guys see this? Um, 2.5G Wi-Fi voice assistance. Google Assistant. That's kind of cool. All right. I don't know. Again, I've never used any of this stuff. So this is me figuring this out. And this video might be a complete bust. Uh, some double-sided tape. Cool. All right. I don't know how to do this. So we'll, we'll have to refer to some instructions. Um, these are going to be connectors. These are going to be the LED strips. So I bought three LED strips. I have a feeling I'm going to need way more, but this is supposed to be 16 feet. And I think if I splice it, cut it, I think that this is going to be enough to do what I need to do. Um, maybe. Because I do have to do the ceiling of the Death Star as well. That's going to be lighting as well. So what do we got in here? We got a bunch of screws, got a couple of connectors. Okay. All right. And uh, we got some wiring. Sweet. All right. There, there, there. Okay. We got connectors and some double side tape. Now, I do not know how the hell I'm supposed to connect this to this. No idea. Uh, but I imagine I'm going to be splicing some of the wires and they're going to go in here. So you can see in here, you've got uh, white, white, uh, warm, white, cool, white, blue, green, red for RGB. And then this is your voltage. So that's your, that's your positive right there. So I imagine we're going to have to use that. I'll have to go check the instructions on how to do all this. So I don't blow this thing up, but I'm actually pretty excited to see how this is going to work. So this is a dimmable. It goes 
I think 2,500 Kelvin to 6,000 Kelvin, somewhere in that ballpark, uh, which 6,000 Kelvin is going to be more cool blue white, which is more or less what I want. Uh, maybe in that 5,600 range, 5,600 is daylight. Uh, so I might go that we'll, we'll see how it goes, but, um, let me figure out how to work this crap and I'll be right back. Okay. So that actually wasn't too difficult. So the controller, uh, the actual, um, the light strip has a positive, you have a cool white and a warm white, and it literally has this connector, if I can get this cable here, has this connector that goes in here that says cool, or power, cool white, warm white, so red for power, yellow for cool white, uh, white for warm white, which is a little weird, because you would think that'd be backwards. Uh, plug it in, and then uh, there's an app you download, uh, connected fairly easily for that, <clears throat> and then I've got this app right here, so I can literally turn on my light, which is pretty sweet. Killed my lights for a second, there you go. So I can turn, uh, as you can see, these are pretty freaking bright. Uh, and then I can dim them down with the app so I can get it to wherever I want. And uh, we can change the color temperature. How awesome is that? All right guys, fast forward an hour or two and uh, I've actually taken the time to splice, wire, do all this stuff, get these connectors going on with this set just because I wanted to see if it worked. We did a little, a little test earlier. And um, yeah, this is what I came up with. So <sighs> pretty pleased with it. I got the app set up on my phone. So we got that. So you can kind of see what I've got going on here. We'll kind of zoom here. We'll zoom in just a, a second. So I've cut LED strips in, well, I cut the 16 foot strip into sections. Uh, I've got the uh, wire coming into here. So I've got it going out the back from that hole that I made earlier. And then I've got connectors on each side with wires going around. And then uh, I need to cut this one. I should have made this, this particular wire, uh, this particular wire a little longer. I'll do that on the next one, whatever. Uh, Cause it's coming up a little bit, but a little bit of glue and that should stick just fine. Uh, but it's clean. Uh, one thing I've got wires and connectors coming to each one of these. I think on future uh, builds of this, I'll make a section that has the rectangles, the inch holes on one side, and then I'll make a solid. So I'll have a top section. However, however, thinking about this, uh, the way this is wired, kind of, this is this was my initial thought with this guy. I move this here. So I've got the wire coming in here, right? You got this guy. Kind of goes there, all right? Oh, focus for me. You get it? Where it's going in there. It's going up, down, da, 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 da. And then it ends here. So leaving the hole there would make sense because then I can get more wire, which I've ordered uh, another 32 feet of more wire uh, to go to the next panel. And that way everything can be on the same line, theoretically. Now, what I don't know is how much juice will make it, how far can I run the line before the light started giving them dimmer or color starts being an issue, whatever, I don't know. Uh, but this is a this was a 16 foot strip uh, and I definitely didn't use all of that. So there's, I probably used, I don't know. Well, one, two, three, four, five, probably used eight feet. Okay, yeah, because this is a little longer than a foot here. Uh, so something like that. So I got plenty of uh, leftover uh, LEDs, but I digress. Uh, let's, let me show you what I got going on here. Let me get the app loaded up and uh, we'll let's see here. I got the Smart Life app. So I've got that going on. And once again, I've just got these taped together. So there's nothing fancy, but we'll kind of let you go right there. I don't know why this thing does not want to focus for me today but it's wanting to be difficult. I don't know why, but anyways, um, got one panel, one panel, one panel. Here we go. And uh, my strip, I've got too many flipping cords. I got my controller here and we'll make sure all the pins align in the correct order. So there's that. And then theoretically, we should be able to uh, kill the lights and uh, turn these on. Boom, there we go. That's pretty stinking cool, if I say so myself. No hot spots whatsoever. And you can see how the light's exiting the top. This is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, I could certainly make a cap and uh, like 3D just glue something under. But this is this section here is going to be hidden uh, behind other panels. So it's, I don't really think it's going to be that big a deal. Uh, now, with these particular lights, I got white. 
I didn't get RGB. I didn't really care if they were RGB. Maybe that's a mistake. I don't know, but right now I can go from a cool white and I can go to a warm white. I don't know how that's coming across on camera, but cool white and warm white. And then of course I can dim them. Yeah, you can see more of the color difference there. And then if I change it back to cool, look at that. I gotta say guys, pretty happy with that. I must say so myself. So anyways, if I can do this and not knowing what the hell I'm doing, then you can certainly do it. I think you can. Anyways, we're gonna continue on this project. I've got like six more of these to build and then I've got the roof and I've got this floor. I got other stuff to add, but I'm actually pretty happy with this. That's it for this one. Catch you on the next one. As always, click what you like. See you next time.